So this is my Klein finder. This is a very important piece of equipment for me. You know, this is this is really a, a sturdy unit. You know, it's it's like commercial grade or research grade. I've I've had it for for quite a few years. The uh, the display has been fading, and for a while there was a low battery type message there. Now it's just kind of died. I'll add the battery has lasted several years. It doesn't draw much current. So what we're going to do is try and open this up and see if we can replace the batteries. When I look here, the first thing I notice is some of these Torx screws. And I think I do have some of those from a previous project, so I'm going to dig those out. They're the ones that have like the star shape. So let me dig out some of those bits. Okay, so I have the bits. I've taken one out. And uh, so these are coming out pretty easy with the proper bit. And now I have them all out. So understanding the depth of the thermocline is important. That's what this is all about. So we're going to pull this off. I've never done this before. So let's see what happens. It doesn't seem to be coming on. Yeah, no, now it is a little bit. I wonder what kind of battery is going to be on this. I'm really not sure. not coming okay I think I know what the problem is we're gonna have to go remove this knot right here I'll be right back okay I'm back let's see if we can take this off and that's coming off fairly easy and I really don't know what's going to be inside here. Whoa! Okay. Okay. What is that? So something came, these things came out here. Don't know what that is. So these seem to be some spacers. So surprised by that. Now, this, so I'm really puzzled. So this does not seem to want to come off for some reason. And I'm puzzled by that. Don't know why that would be the case. Let me take this, this screw out. See if that might be a reason why. I mean, it's possible. Oh, I don't you see that thing now. What is up with this? Okay, let's take this one off. I wouldn't say it's going very smoothly. So these are a smooth surface to let it rotate smoothly. That's what that is. Um, this. Okay. Got it. Aha. Bingo. There we go. Your old friend, the AA cell. There's three in there. Three in there. And so I was wrong. I thought that was going to be some type of a button cell. And again, you know, these last, these last several years, these cells, 
So I've replaced the batteries, which was straightforward. I may put some zip ties in there to, to hold them in place. That's, that's kind of unusual, but that's what they had done at the factory. And I had to cut them off to remove the batteries. And now what's interesting, it has completely died. And I do not know why. So let me get my multimeter, try and figure this one out. Okay, so let's see what it's not getting any voltage. That's weird. So the problem is no power. It looks like. Because I don't think the thermocouple is going to fail. So let me. Huh. Let me check the batteries because that's just very strange very strange so in fiddling with this it seemed to come back to life on its own I don't know why I didn't do much and uh, let's do a test here this should start to go up quite rapidly. The, um, the response of this thermocouple is very rapid, as you would expect, you know, based on the function of this, this device. So it looks like it's working now. Now I have to, um, and if I let go of the thermocouple, it should drift back down to to room temperature so the device is now working there were some of those um, cable ties holding the batteries in I don't think you know those batteries are held in so tightly I don't think I need that so let me try and get this back together you know you know what, what what this is about this is about understanding the thermocline and pike and muskie are cold water fish and you need to to understand you know where they might be in the lake to maximize your chances of success that's what this is about so let me get this back together <clears throat> 